I'm actually terrified to do this in Halo. And that's to play the Halo 3 refueled playlist. Because if you saw in my last video, it was a bit challenging. Hold strong, little branch! As in skill-based matchmaking made me lose every game. It's been about a week now since this play has been out. 343 knows our feedback at this point. So the big question is, have they tuned skill-based matchmaking? So if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you tap like on the video here. It lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Subscribe to keep yourself updated with everything going on with Halo. Let's jump in and see if skill-based matchmaking has changed at all. I have a challenge to get a headshot with a sniper. I'm gonna try that out as well. See if we can get a cool kill or something. So I actually have not played this playlist since it was released on day one. Wait, hey, 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 don't let me line up the headshot. Don't move, stop it, but no, 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 no. That's exactly what I get for going for challenges rather than playing the mode. Can I actually make this jump back up here? Um, Looks like you can. You should be able to, that's a lockout move right there. Oh my God, the man. And ever since they buffed that gun back up to its original state, it's been kind of crazy. Okay, fuel in coil part two. Uh. Yes, I don't know how I got the kill, but I love it. So back on topic though, with the skill-based matchmaking, it really has deterred me from wanting to play this mode because of how strict it was when this game mode first came out, man. Oh. It's a shame because it's one of the most exciting things I was looking forward to when it comes to Halo. Because I am a Halo 3 fanboy. Put Halo 3 on something, I'm gonna play it. And I love how the Forges did basically a reimagining of a lot of these classic maps. In my last video I talked about, we should, they added in this whole section, which made it so that you can actually kind of flank around on lockout. Always been a pain point on this map. It's always been very power position heavy. No, don't you dare ninja me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Dude, that strafe was crazy. Like right here, we can check it out. You can run around this outside edge right here and actually flank rather than having to just completely slay your way to get to any location on this map. And of course you get double teamed, but triple teamed even, holy crap. But yeah, honestly, if it wasn't so sweaty, I'd be living inside this playlist right now. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, dude, I am just getting annihilated from every angle. But yeah, like I said, this playlist is absolutely amazing. I would be playing it nonstop. I mean, it's Halo 3 in Halo Infinite, which I've actually always kind of viewed Halo Infinite as like an evolution of what Halo 3 would be. Like if Halo 3 released today, I feel like it would be Halo Infinite. Oh my gosh, a little double, okay. Can you not make the BR3 jump on this version of uh, this map? Doesn't really look like it. Oh no! Of course he has the sword! Thinking that I'm just officially cursed on this playlist where if anything is recording and I'm playing the Halo 3 playlist, I'm just going to lose. And he gets me again with that sword, dude. Holy crap. Like, I'm just trying to jump in, just kind of shoot some stuff, just have some fun, but oh my god, my dudes. This skill-based matchmaking is still the thickest it's ever been. Oh my goodness, dude. They're just coming out of every possible location. I just kind of wish this wasn't the case, man. I kind of wish I could just jump in and play and just not have to try so dang hard just to break even. Or in my case, go 7 and 11. Because I brought this up in my previous video that the big thing is that when you put all these competitive players into a non-competitive style playlist, it adds to just like this really awkward, not the best feeling experience. BAM! No! I've got... <laughs> you can definitely see the scores reflecting the skill-based matchmaking as we're basically tied. Almost every game feels like that as well. Like, I honestly feel like I'm playing ranked matchmaking right now. Like, I am trying, brothers. And we lost. Honestly, though, I don't think really anything ever changed when it came to the matchmaking in Halo Infinite. I think it's just more that people have come back to the game since a long break. Oh, I am not taking that fusion cold to the face. And coming back and people are like, dang, I have to try this hard just to have some form of a win to break even, basically. And 3 for 3 is like, yes, yes, you do. And I think a lot of people, including myself, haven't really bothered to play many social modes. I put that more in quotations of social because with how strict the skill-based matchmaking is, it definitely feels more ranked than social. And unless I'm playing squad battles or big team battle, I'm not really playing much social 4v4 in Halo Infinite because I do feel that the experience has been too sweaty. It's been very difficult to try to manage as some form of a win. It's been very difficult for me to stay on top of the map. And besides Husky, most of the experience you can have in arena 4v4s are just like play this objective, get this many kills kind of thing. Which I mean, it's Halo, hey, it's a shooter, right? That's kind of like what the idea of the game is, but a little variety would also be really appreciated. So I think a lot of people just loved Husky Race so much as it was a breath of fresh air. It felt like a truly social experience because you didn't have to like try so hard to do well. Oh my God, we're lagging. Oh my God, the server's breaking. 
The server's falling apart right now. What's happening? Oh my god, and I'm dead. There we got our headshot. Let's go. The weekly ultimate is mine. I'm trying to bait these guys to see if they can get. Let me come over and I can throw them off the map. Come on, come my way, come my way. Come here, come here. No, I thought that didn't work out at all. That did not work out in my favor. Oh no. There we go. Lining up the headshots. Oh, we're getting sweated on back here. No. Get some more luck on this thing. Not nearly as far as I need to throw. Okay, we're gonna try it again. Or just hit this guy. Or just get spawned on. Oh my god, the assist is my buddy! And we get a win. The weekly ultimate is mine! Okay, judging by the kill death ratios in this lobby, the game definitely threw us a bone. Poor Abraham got the short end of the stick when it comes to skill based matchmaking. Because you can see that they're an Onyx tier player, but everyone except him on his team went hard negative. Nothing against those players who played poorly. They just got thrown into a lobby that they were supposed to play poorly and to be carried by one Onyx player. This this is exactly what we're talking about when it comes to being a good player within Halo. You get punished by the skill-based matchmaking system. Either you have to carry like our sad boy Abraham here, or you have to absolutely just get demolished by skill-based matching or try your best just to break even. Again, I just feel like there's got to be some form of a middle ground here where people can just jump into a social playlist and play to just have fun. Like the first game I hopped on, I was just kind of jumping and shoot things. And I was like, oh, this is how we have to play. So you saw in the second match, I was trying to make sure I had like a battle rifle at all times because battle rifle is essentially a power weapon in the sandbox and also make sure I can control that sniper rifle as much as possible. I'm just saying like can we mix it up a little bit? Can we just like loosen these parameters right so we don't have to try so hard or get forced into a singular play style to do well because it seems like either matches are basically even every single time or completely landslides like we had last time because someone had to carry. Let me know what your experience has been within Halo recently and thank you for watching I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.